Step back in time to the late 1960s, where television screens were graced by Hee Haw, a classic series that seamlessly blended country music and comedy. Whether you tuned in for the iconic performances or the down-home humor, the show left an indelible mark on American entertainment. As you revisit the familiar faces and timeless tunes, have you ever pondered lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that intrigue you? Or perhaps, in the ensemble cast, which classic Hollywood actor stood out as your favorite? Now, let's uncover some intriguing aspects of Hee Haw. Did you know that the show, born out of CBS's desire to connect with rural audiences, became an unexpected hit, running for an impressive 25 seasons? With its distinctive blend of musical variety and rural-themed sketches, Hee Haw carved a unique niche in the television landscape. While its origins lay in the desire to bridge cultural gaps, the show eventually found widespread popularity. And now, as you reflect on the moments that endeared Hee Haw to your heart, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this beloved series in the comments below. Your stories add another layer to the rich tapestry of Hee Haw nostalgia. So, what resonates with you the most? The music, the laughter, or perhaps a specific episode that left a lasting impression? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your thoughts and connect with fellow fans who, like you, hold a special place for Hee Haw in their hearts. After all, great stories are meant to be shared. Hee Haw, a classic television series that premiered in 1969, originated as a country-themed variety show blending comedy sketches and musical performances. Conceived as a rural counterpart to Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, the show found its niche by celebrating the humor and culture of the American heartland. Anchored by co-hosts Buck Owens and Roy Clark, the series featured a recurring cast of iconic characters like Junior Samples, Grandpa Jones, and the Hager Twins. Its unique blend of cornfield set designs, hay bales, and signature catchphrases like where, oh where, are you tonight, gave Hee Haw a distinctive style that resonated with audiences. The show not only showcased top country music talent, but also became a platform for emerging artists. Its down-home charm and unpretentious humor made it a beloved fixture in American households for over two decades, fostering a sense of nostalgia for a bygone era. Despite initial skepticism from network executives, he haw defied expectations, running for an impressive 25 seasons, and leaving an enduring mark on popular culture. The show's impact extended beyond its original airings, influencing subsequent generations of comedians and musicians who drew inspiration from its unique blend of entertainment. With its enduring legacy, Hee Haw stands as a testament to the enduring appeal of country humor and music in American television. Buck Owens, one of Hee Haw's co-hosts, distanced himself from the show after the 1985-86 season. Feeling that Hee Haw had damaged his reputation as a serious musician, Owens embarked on a journey to rebuild his credibility. His departure marked a turning point for the series, highlighting the challenges faced by its hosts beyond the on-screen humor. The show's origins were rooted in an unexpected location. Initially slated for production in California, the first season, including the pilot, was shot in studio at WLAC-TV in Nashville, TN. The station's general manager persuaded CBS to relocate, emphasizing the convenience of being in the heart of country music. This decision not only shaped the show's identity, but also connected it to the vibrant country music scene in Nashville. Hee Haw faced a significant threat during the infamous Rural Purge at the end of the 1970-71 season. CBS, aiming to eliminate shows with perceived limited appeal to urban audiences, considered canceling Hee Haw. However, the show defied the odds by transitioning to direct to syndication, avoiding the fate of other rural-themed programs. The network's regret over the Purge decision was evident, as subsequent hits like The Waltons and Little House on the Prairie proved the enduring appeal of shows rooted in rural life. Hee Haw, born out of this turbulent period, not only survived but thrived, leaving an indelible mark on American television. Its journey from the unexpected Nashville setting to overcoming network skepticism reflects the resilience of a show that became a cultural phenomenon. 
Hee Haw, born in 1969 as a television series, took a unique path in the world of entertainment. Initially, it mimicked the format of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, offering a country-themed variety show with comedic sketches and musical performances. However, after its first two seasons on CBS, it made a strategic move, transitioning to a first-run syndication style from the fall of 1971 onward. This shift allowed Hee Haw to reach audiences directly, and remarkably, it continued for another 21 seasons. The show's distinctive features, including the iconic cornfield set and the character costumes, have found a permanent home at the Country Music Hall of Fame in Nashville, TN. This physical tribute stands as a testament to Hee Haw's lasting impact on American television, showcasing its unique blend of humor and music that resonated with audiences for over two decades. From its inception in 1969 to its evolution into syndication, Hee Haw faced challenges, including the threat of cancellation during the rural purge. However, it not only survived but thrived, defying expectations and leaving an indelible mark on popular culture. Performers of the iconic TV series Hee Haw followed a unique taping schedule. The show, born in 1969, opted for a block shooting approach, bringing together the cast for a week of taping in June and another in October. Roy Clark, one of the co-hosts, likened this schedule to a big family reunion twice a year. This behind-the-scenes glimpse into Hee Haw's production sheds light on the camaraderie among the performers, emphasizing the show's family-like atmosphere. This scheduling strategy allowed for efficient production, with individual shows edited together later. The result was a seamless blend of comedy sketches and musical performances that defined the show's charm. Hee Haw's commitment to this structured approach contributed to its longevity, with the series thriving for over two decades. In the world of Hee Haw, this block shooting routine not only facilitated the creation of a beloved television show, but also became a defining feature in the backstage dynamics of the production. As the performers gathered for these intensive taping weeks, they created a sense of camaraderie that translated onto the screen, adding to the show's enduring appeal. The block shooting schedule, a unique aspect of Hee Haw's production, showcases the dedication and teamwork behind the scenes, contributing to the show's success and lasting impact on American television. As we bid farewell to the nostalgic world of Hee Haw, let's not merely close the chapter, but rather pause and reflect on the tapestry of moments this timeless 1969 TV series has woven into the fabric of our memories. It's not just a show, it's a journey through the heartland of laughter, where cornfields and country tunes collide in a symphony of joy. In the midst of banjos strumming and cowboy boots tapping, Hee Haw became more than a television program. It became a companion in the cozy corners of our living rooms, a whimsical escape to a simpler time. Perhaps it's the infectious camaraderie between the characters, or the way each sketch felt like a front porch chat with old friends. Now, as the curtain falls on this iconic show, we invite you to share your personal connection with Hee Haw. What moments made you laugh till your sides hurt? Which characters became your cherished companions? Was it the corny jokes or the heartfelt musical performances that resonated with you? Your stories are the threads that continue to embroider the legacy of Hee Haw. So, dear reader, let your thoughts flow like a melody from Buck Owens' guitar. Share your favorite memories, your reflections, and the snippets of laughter that echo in your mind when you think of Hee Haw. Because in sharing, we not only preserve the magic of this show, but also connect with others who found solace in the charming simplicity it offered. Thank you for joining us in this journey down memory lane, where Haystacks and Huber converge to create an everlasting piece of Americana. Your time and reflections are the true treasures that keep the spirit of Hee Haw alive. Until we meet again, keep the banjo strumming and the laughter echoing.